I want to go there. I want KTM. But now we're official. We got our uh, media badges. Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So I am today at the AIM Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's one of the largest power sports and motorcycle uh, industry shows um, in the United States. And I'm just gonna take you kind of on a tour around the show. We'll meet some interesting people. We'll look at some cool new products some cool new motorcycles, accessories, stuff like that. And uh, why don't you come along for the ride? So I'm here with the guys from uh, ADV Moto Magazine. Hey, introduce your, this is Carl and this is Christian. So these guys put out one of the best magazines in the business, so. Hey, what's up? My name's Carl Parker of uh, ADV Moto. I'm the publisher. Maybe you've seen me on some of the YouTube stuff. And this here is Christian Lowe. He's our new ME and we're here at the show checking it out. And we're excited to run into Ian. Thought we'd say hi to everyone. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. Thank you guys. So this is the Mitas tire booth. Behind me is the new KTM 890 Adventure R. It looks pretty sweet. There's no windshield on it, but you can see the new fairing design. Right, I'm here at the Suzuki booth. They've got some exciting new bikes this year with the new V-Strom DE models, the off-road focus models, bigger wheels, longer suspension. We've got the new 800D, which you're probably most excited about. We've also got the new 1050 DE. I'm gonna be testing these bikes soon and reviewing them, but let's take a look at them over here at the show. settings of ABS plus a gravel mode so we can turn off the ABS to the rear wheel. Uh, three levels of traction control. So, Do you know if it will remember the ride modes when you cycle the power? It probably resets, mm -hmm. it does remember it? Okay, that's nice. A lot of bikes don't do that, that's why I ask. This is an adjustable suspension, that's really nice to see. Long travel forks, good size fuel tank. I mean, this has everything you need. Yeah, that's the real advantage of the parallel twin layout is it opens up all kinds of rider ergonomic options, bigger fuel tank, bigger air box. Um, and it's a 270 degree firing order parallel twin with a unique cross balancer system. So it's smooth, it's throaty, makes good power. Uh, and it's really compact so you can move the rider forward so we can compress the front fork. Um, you know, it's narrow so it's not quite as imposing in terms of, you know, relatively high seat bike. And it uh, seems to be very friendly off-road. It's the first one in the country, so no one's ridden it yet, but yeah. uh, it's uh, it's getting rave reviews so far. I asked Richards, the like the PR manager for North Suzuki in North America, he's like the manager for PR. I asked him if I could write it out of the show. He said that probably wouldn't be a good idea. So we don't want to get arrested or in trouble with Richard. Yeah, that would be bad, yes. Yeah. Let's go check out our friends over at Nelson Rig, see if Kyle Bradshaw's around. Mr. Bradshaw. Hey, what's up, sir? Mr. And Ian from Big Rock Moto. <laughs> the man himself, the, the best tire tester in the world right here. He gives us all the information on the tires and how they work. How you doing, Kyle? Dude, I'm doing great. Let me show you guys some secret insider information that if you haven't been on the internet 
in the last 24 hours you may not have seen it but if you have then you've already seen it. Take a look at this guy right here. So do you know if they're coming to the US? Because people tell I me I talked to not. them and they are not they're for not. probably a year, year and a half. Is it like a DOT thing or something? Uh, probably. Yeah. But it's European spec, it's pretty interesting. So real quick, as long as I got all you guys on the camera, my first thoughts on this are it's pretty awesome. I like the void in between the lugs. That's super, super cool. My only concern is the fact that the tread depth looks like it's like yay big. So, I mean, it's going to be an amazing, I think this is going to be more like TKC 70 rocks as far as the, the tread depth goes. So it should handle amazing on the street and have some good grip as well, the off-road. But I don't know about the longevity. We'll see what that looks like. But anyway, thanks for swinging by the booth. So Kobe is doing some really cool stuff. Let's take a look at uh, these like rally bikes. They're, I mean, they're a huge engine manufacturer, one of the biggest in the world. Yeah, okay. so they do a lot of stuff. But um, so originally, Zongshen made a 450 single cam engine, and it was designed for a Zongshen bike, which is a Chinese domestic adventure bike. And the single cam, it would fall flat on its face about 7,000 or 8,000 RPM. And they originally, Kobe originally used I just met the guys from Mitas Tire, really nice guys who run it, and they have a really great range of adventure tires, but they also do a lot of good street bike tires too, and KTM's now working with them for factory tires on the new 890 Adventure R. So they have a good combo of different tread patterns. You can get more of an aggressive tread like these E10s, or you can get more of an adventure tread. Another kind of revival of a, of a European or Italian name owned by a, a, different, a different firm overseas. So uh, I'm going to maybe talk to these folks and show you some of the bikes here because I think they're really interesting and very affordable. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, Ian. Hey, thanks. Thanks for tuning in to Big Rock Moto. Hey, I'm glad to have you guys, view, the viewers of Big Rock Moto. It's a pleasure to have Ian here in the Moto Marini booth at AM Expo Las Vegas. Moto Marini, founded in 1937, one of the premier historic legacy brands out of Italy. Uh, all the bikes are designed and developed right in our state-of-the-art facility in Milano. Uh, here I'm standing in behind our Escape Adventure Bike, uh, 650 platform, uh, all state-of-the-art high-tech componentry, um, premium manufacturing, and of course that great Italian styling. We've got this amazing adventure bike, the Xscape. We also have our naked street bike, Semenzo, and we have the Scrambler version of it as well, our SCR Scrambler version of our Semenzo. But I'd like you to uh, check out motomariniusa.com, learn more about the brand and our great bikes and our, our amazing Italian styling, high performance, great durability. I know you're going to love a Moto Marini. Thanks for checking out Big Rock Moto. So I'm here with Adam. Adam, uh, what's, your, what's your title with uh, Triumph? Yeah, hey Ian, uh, I'm Adam Vanderveen. I'm the marketing director for Triumph Motorcycles here in North America. So and we're just hanging out at the AIM Expo. And we're very grateful to Adam. We have to thank Adam because he's the one that helps me get the press bikes that you see tested on my channel. So thank you, Adam, for doing that. No, happy to do it. Uh, like I was just saying to you I, and everybody watching knows that Ian goes into so much depth in all of his reviews. and. Uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever he feels about the bike, he's going to say it, and, and I know that everybody appreciates that. So happy to have it always lend you some bikes, Ian. 
Yeah. And so. then do you want to talk a little bit about... Yeah, so so uh, this this bike behind us here, this is the Chrome version, but this is the Scrambler 1200 XE, the really off-road focus one. So I'll let Adam talk about it. Yeah, so this is... Uh, this is the Scrambler 1200 XE. Uh, this is actually what I have at home in the garage, but uh, for 2023 only, we're actually doing a, a run of 10 Chrome Edition motorcycles. So you can kind of see all of them here. Uh, little bits are different on each one of them. Some of them just have things like uh, the knee inserts. The Thruxton is an all Chrome tank. And then the Scrambler here is mostly Chrome uh, with the exception of the stripe that is consistent with all scramblers. So, uh, yeah, uh, but this is our more uh, capable version of the Scrambler 1200, a little more off-road capable. Uh, like I said, I have one at home, and we're looking forward to getting one in Ian's hands in the coming weeks here so he can take a spin and review one. Yeah, you guys will probably see that video in... Uh, probably April or so. I got to get time to ride it between the snowstorms, uh, but they have one. They have one available in the fleet. So, but uh, thank you. A huge thanks to Adam from Triumph uh, for supporting Big Rock Moto. Uh, love you guys. Thank you. So behind me here is the booth for Benelli. So I, I'm a little blurry on the details of this exactly, but I know they're kind of rejuvenating that that brand, and it is owned by a, a Chinese firm. But uh, let's take a look at some of the products they have, and maybe we'll get to talk to some of the people here. So this is a bike a lot of you have asked me about, and I just don't have much experience with it or knowledge of it, but this is the TRK502X, kind of that sweet spot mid-size adventure bike. So you notice that 502 has spoked wheels, it's more of an off-road, I think it's a 19 inch front wheel. And then they have this TRK702, but it's not the X, so it's like a smaller wheel, but this is a bigger engine. Okay, now here's the 702X, the, the bigger engine with the off-road package. bike behind me here, this Imperial single cylinder 400cc engine. Hmm, what does that remind you of? Royal Enfield maybe? All the product assembly lines, all the machines, all the equipment they have, you know, they are all the top of the line. You know, you know the, what I mean, but you know, the, apparently they're gonna use this one for Harley, you know, it's a base. So, right, uh, one of the most famous manufacturer in the United States actually, you know, manufacture or let us manufacture the product, one of the models for them. So that is something, you know, as a proof, be it a uh, uh, Suzuki or a Kawasaki or Trump or BMW. But we want to talk about the bikes, you know. What a consumer or rider really care about should be how much value they get from the product they buy. They are uh, the bikes. Uh, currently on this floor is our flagship bikes. Okay. You know these models. Ryan will give you a good overview of the features and uh, you know the performance. Okay, I'm sorry. Which uh, I'm here with. I'm here with Ron. He's the what's your title? The uh, technical manager. Technical manager for uh, Benelli, Benelli America. So he's going to talk us through the TRK 702X, which is kind of their flagship adventure bike. Yeah, we have our brand new 702. 700 for the 700 cc, 698 cc parallel twin brand new adventure platform. This happens to be the X version. 
you're getting the upgraded wheels and tires. Here's the there's spoke rims, but if you look at the spoke arrangement, yeah. they're around the perimeter, so you've got a toothless tire platform very easily without any conflict there. Radial brakes, radial master cylinder. Brembo brakes. Yes, Brembo brakes, Brembo master radial, and of course adjustable. A lot of nice, comfortable creature features on it. You got your USB, other power ports up top, digital dash. I unfortunately don't have a battery in this one to show you the fire up of that. So heated seats, heated grips, wow. bags are an option. They're a quick release just with the uh, locks and latches as an example. Yeah, these are really nice. I had a really locked to the frame as well as quick release. Yeah. So one of the nice things on the 702 as well compared to our current 502 is actually lower seat height. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, so again, more user friendly, easier to throw the leg over, get going down the road. So, and it comes with the crash bars, these bars. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the crash bars are on it. We include the bark busters, hand protection for you. Again, adjustable levers, both ends. Uh, you have your triggers for your digital gauge, you know, up here on the left, left handle bar as well. There is a forward facing camera as well. Oh, that's wow. app based. Right now, working on the, the US software for it. No, LED lighting, LED lights, yeah. Yes. And then so, who makes the suspension? Uh, this one, I want to say a show up, but I want to double show check up. myself. Yeah, on that. one of those, okay. Oh, so, so here's the specs. So it's. Um, yeah, we're 75 we horsepower, 50 foot pounds of torque. That's pretty good. It's a beast. That's pretty good. Well, thank you for taking the time to walk us through this bike. Really appreciate it. Um, so one of the huge themes that I'm coming away uh, with the show this year is the uh, influence of, uh, you know, more Chinese companies doing uh, motorcycle manufacturing and looking to do more distribution in the United States and other countries. I think it's great. Personally, people have a lot of opinions about it, which I think is okay. Um, one behind me here is a QJ Motors. They're actually really big, and they have a lot of different brands that you might see under that. Uh, but let me kind of show you some of the bikes that uh, they have here at the show. So this here is the G2. This is a air-cooled uh, scooter, a small engine, obviously going to be very affordable. They've got electric bicycles, e-bikes, another scooter. This is kind of an adventure looking bike. This is called the SRT 750X. Look at the Brembo brakes, radio mounted Brembo brakes and the uh, tubeless spoked wheels like that. That's pretty impressive. You can see the specs on this bike here. This is an SRK 700, kind of a naked, kind of sports bike here. Got the mini bikes, of course. Got a sport bike, you can see here, QJ Motor. This is a R400. Of course, they also do side-by-sides, ATVs, UTVs. Okay, so I'm at the uh, Nelson Rig booth. I'm here with uh, famous Kyle Bradshaw. Hey, What's Kyle? going on, guys? So <laughs> Kyle's just gonna kind of walk us through some of the new and exciting products for Nelson Rig in uh, 2023. They make really good luggage solutions that are really affordably priced and well-made. So Kyle, why don't you maybe tell us a little bit about what you want to highlight? So we really started in the dual sport space. We had the textile luggage that we have over here. It's called the Trails End. So it was all textile, this is the adventure size, this here is the light version we came out with last year for the dual sports and enduros and things of that nature. And then we have the dual sports saddlebags. Now the neat part about these particular products is the fact that they don't need to have racks. So here's an awesome shot of a T7 yeah. with those dual sport saddlebags. Now last year we launched what we called the Hurricane line of gear. Mm -hmm. It's all the waterproof stuff. So we have Hurricane saddlebags and tank bags and roll bags and duffel bags and all kinds of stuff. Now last year we had a large uh, adventure tank bag and it was flat on the bottom. 
so it didn't fit a whole lot of the curved tanks. But now you can see that here on the 1190, yeah. with this nice swoop down uh, tank, that fits, so bag, yeah. fits really good. So that's new for this year. One of the four pieces we added to the Hurricane lineup. And it's waterproof. It's 100% waterproof, yes sir. That's nice. 100% waterproof. The other thing we added was called the Rig Pack. This thing, we haven't found anything it won't attach to yet. It's a crash bar bag, it's a tail bag like you can see over there on the 690. It literally mounts to anything. And what I've been using it for is on one side of my, so I usually wear a climb mesh suit. And then I have the Nelson Rig rain suit that I put on over the top when it gets cold outside or wet. And then on, so on one side of the bike on the crash guards, I've got that. And on this side here, I've got my entire toolkit. 14 pounds of every tool that I would ever need in order to be able to fix not only my bike, but all the other bikes that are out on the road with me. I've got almost 8,000 miles on this bag sitting here on my crash bar. Now, one of the things I really like about this is the fact that I used to have my toolkit buried in my luggage in the back. And I, you know, your, your mirror gets loose or something, you don't want to dig through there and it's a pain in the butt. But now having my tools so accessible, I can just put this out, get to the tool, fix the problem. Super awesome. So rig pack is new for this year. Um, the other new thing we have for this year is I talked about those dual sport saddlebags. We now have a waterproof version right here. Yeah, this looks really cool. So the neat part about this is it attaches to the back, pulls tight, has another strap that comes from the back to the to the front, and then it goes through this. There's a D-ring down here at the bottom. The tighter you pull the front, and the tighter you pull this one. So these two pull. Oh, I see. Go ahead and try to lift up on this guy. Super oh, yeah, secure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just load this thing down, you make sure your straps are tight, and you can have a rack list set up that's 100% waterproof wow. for just 180 bucks. 180 bucks? Yeah, Holy right. smoke. <laughs> You're pretty rad. Well, those of you that have been asking for a more affordable alternative to some of the stuff I show, here you go, right here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this is really cool. These are going to be great. And then the, that five liter pack has yeah. anti, all of our stuff has anti-migration loops is what we call them. Mm -hmm. These loops here, you yeah, got the so loops here on the top. Yeah. That way when you throw your strap up and over the unit and it's tied down, it's not gonna walk out one way or the other. Where a traditional duffel bag ends up sliding off or bouncing sideways as you're rolling down the road, it's not gonna happen with any of our stuff. 100% really nice. waterproof now, here's the kicker. Not only is it affordable, all of our luggage has a lifetime warranty. If a strap starts to fray or break or whatever, give us a call and we'll send you a new one. It's that simple. Pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kyle. Absolutely, thanks guys. Let's take a look at the new Heidenau uh, K60 Ranger adventure tire. So behind me is the Insta360 booth. I really love their cameras. And if you see the 360 footage and a lot of my motorcycle reviews, you'll see I'm using these cameras. They're really, really nice, really good company, and the cameras work really well. Yeah, because it's new for this last September. Okay. Invisible. Okay, so show, show us this one. Um, so this one is a modular camera. It comes it come come with three parts. This is the battery base, this is the brain with a screen, and then this is the lens. So the good thing is that you can you can combine it yeah. and it now becomes a 360 camera. This is the camera we call Insta360 X3. It's actually the fourth generation of our X series. So it's pretty pretty late. And it's like a big screen here. And we upgrade the sensor to uh, half-inch sensor. So you can now capture 7 to 2 megapixel uh, 360 images. And then you can capture 5.7K 360 videos. So the magic is that this selfie thing is invisible in the shop. I believe Iron show a lot of video about like the invisible selfie stick function, right? So, um, so the selfie stick will remove from from the shot, so you can get like a flying drone in the air. Oh. Well, uh, thank you. Th uh, it's Carolyn, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Carolyn. Um, I love these cameras. I used the previous version of this, the X2, and if you guys see my my 360 videos, and, my, and I use this is what I use. So, thanks, Carolyn.
Thanks. So this is the SW Motec booth behind me. They make super high quality luggage, uh, tank bags, saddle bags, uh, hard parts, crash bars, skid plates. They're a huge supporter of Big Rock Moto, so I want to kind of highlight them a little bit. Anti-Gravity Batteries is here. They support Big Rock Moto with batteries, jump start and stuff like that. They have some really cool products that uh, you should check out. These are like the jump starters here. They have all different sizes for different applications, motorcycles or ATVs or Jeeps or whatever you have. They've got some of these cool little powder, power packs now. And over here you can see they've got different batteries, all different size batteries. So if you want a smart helmet, Foresight Helmet's doing some pretty cool stuff. Let's take a look.